got the shoes to wear So I bought you another pair Chief Bartram, Bartramize the World. This is the BTW Network. This is Tribe Sports Media. This is the Open Tribe a Weekly Pod, the weekly stream. You know, um, I intend on going live today, but man, by the time I, I finished setting up, it was 6 20, um, 7 20 Eastern. Hell, the game's no more than 8 o'clock, so um, um, by the time I get started, and get into it again and beyond so uh there's no need to go live today but i'm gonna go ahead and record this and post it anyway tonight you all can look at it after the game is over you can come back and look at it and i'm posting this before the game i'm saying this before the game everybody so we'll see if what i say is something that'll happen tonight the game or not go on you know jump into the comment section you know we see what's going on um be sure you hit that like button on the way in. Be sure you um, subscribe if you haven't. Share this. Um, comment in the comment section if you hear something you want to speak on. Or comment if, if you want me to go further into certain things I'm talking about, either live or on the comment section. Because I want to begin to do more of that too when I upload videos. Um, if there's something else you want me to talk about, fine. You know, and um, support the network. Uh, Cash App is BotronizeTW. And the PayPal is PayPal.me, BotronizeTW. This will be a weekly stream. Right now, I've organized my time very well. So this will be a weekly stream. I will do sports live streams or uploads. Well, yeah, sports live streams. Sunday. The weekly stream will be Sunday. The weekend stream will be Sunday. And I'm going to do a midweek stream Wednesday. Right? So, those two days will be sports streams. I'm going to do live um, until the bonfire streams on Friday. We're going to do uh, music streams on Saturday. And then Thursday, there'll be another stream. I'm going to keep that a secret until I get everything together for that one. Because I'm going to open up my fourth channel. I told everybody that I was going to do three channels and that will open up a fourth one. So I'm about to open up the fourth channel. And then all the things I like to talk about and all my creative outlets will be set. Everything I like to do creatively will have, each will have a channel in a niche. Everything jumbled together in one channel, it'll become confusing. So we got a sports channel. We got a music channel, we got a um, tribal politics channel, and then the fourth one that will announce uh, when I launch it, you know, and everything. Um, officially, I may put it out there, but anyway, that's not what I'm, 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 I'm going to get caught up in that. Um, so, we're going to talk about game two, the NBA finals. 
this is an open, you know, this is an open stream. So if I was live, I would just rattle through certain things that I'm talking about, and then we'll talk about it together. But since this would be an upload, which it'll be, it'll either be a live stream or an upload, depending on what's going on. Like Wednesday's game is later, so I'll be able to, I think I'll be able to go live Wednesday because the game will be later. But anyway, let's jump into it. Um, yeah, I'm getting right through it. Um, I have a question to ask everybody for game two. Number one, game one, Dallas is blown out. <laughs> And honestly, I'm not surprised. I'm going to talk about that a little bit. I think it was a feel out game. I think that the two key people in this series, I've had a talk with Flight about this. So when I, me and Flight had a nice hour long phone conversation about this very thing. And I told Flight then in the phone conversation, I said, Flight, I said, there are two people that you need to be watching for in this NBA Finals. I said, on Dallas, you'd be watching Kyrie, you know, Kyrie, and on the rest of the group, PJ, and on the, um, and on the, um, Boston side, you need to be watching, uh, Chris Stapps Porzingis. Kyrie and Chris Stapps Porzingis in particular, because those two have, I don't give a fuck what they say. All nice, oh, it's all love and light, I'll be quiet. This is competition. You don't forget shit. You know? Hey, Chris Stapps this has not forgotten how he left Dallas. Come on, baby, let's not do this. Let's not do this. Chris Stapps was blamed for the reason why they lost that series. I forget who was against. I apologize. Why was Chris Stapps didn't like how he was being used? Right? Just go and stand in the corner. Now, PJ can fit that, but that's not for, 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 for Zingas, man. I mean, you know, because all the room, all the oxygen and the energy was centered around Luka Doncic. That's how it's been. Luka has had to yield some of that energy to Kyrie. You know, he's had to yield it. And Kyrie is the only one he would yield it to. Why? Because Kyrie has a championship. Kyrie, hey, I'm gonna say it. Kyrie, shit, Kyrie has a ring and has won a championship and has been to several NBA finals, something that Luka has not done. So from that alone, Luka must yield. This ain't Jalen Bronson. He must yield. He must yield, even though he used to out front face and Mark Cuban dumbass said something about if, if Kyrie... Uh, <laughs> you know, if, if Kyrie, if, if he got to go to the corner, then this is Lucas Tion. You know, you know. But he had to yield. Right? Kyrie, I don't care what he says, to take a championship trophy named after Bill Russell, right? Away from Boston? Because this will be the first time. That Boston will get the trophy named after Bill Russell because the last time Boston won, it wasn't named after Bill Russell. So this will be a very special trophy for Boston, a very special championship because one of their own pioneers, one of the one of the Boston Celtic goats, man, is connected to the trophy. So it means something, right? For Kyrie to snatch that away. <laughs> With them, you know, having to blow up doll and them whooping on it and all that foolishness, you know. People that's oh, that, I'm gonna talk about that too. These fans take this shit way too far. You're here to watch the game. Watch the game. Talk shit on the game. Not the person who backed it. These fans make me sick. They do. Uncivilized savages. All in the stand. That's what they are. They're not civilized. Caitlin people too. Savages. That's what they are. That's what they all are. You know? They're well-spoken, proper English-speaking savages. That's what they are. <laughs> you know? There's no civilization from them. You know? There's no... They're, 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 they're the same as the Roman Colosseum. The savages of those days. It's the same thing. This is what it is. <laughs> anyway. Um... It'll mean something. Kyrie has something to come back to Boston where he failed to win. Ooh. 
Ooh. Kyrie said in the press conference he had, he had problems dealing with the failure in Boston. You know, because, you, know, you know, Kyrie, he thought he could, as he was younger, he thought he could, you know, because he's Kobe's protege, of course, he going to think he can do it without LeBron. And he found out that, <laughs> when Kyrie found out that <laughs> he didn't have a Paul hell, he thought he didn't have a Paul Gasol like Kobe did. And Jalen, whoo, Lord have mercy. And Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown were not going to yield to Kyrie. They love him now. Oh, it's all love and light now. But when they was on the team, they didn't yield to Kyrie. They did not. Jalen and Jason did not yield to Kyrie. They didn't yield to him. When they were young, but they were young dogs, man. It is what it is. They were dogs coming in. They were dogs. Kyrie, okay. You know, we cooking in practice. We, you know, there's no yielding. Terry Rozier too. That's what Terry Rozier said. Out of all the motherfuckers, I sacrificed the most, you know? And he rolled that way to Charlotte. <laughs> he rolled that way to that playoff series in Boston. He rolled that way right into Charlotte to replace Kimber Walker. You know, so so Terry flipped that shit into a nice bag. Hey, it is what it is. Hey, Terry, hey, it's what it is. Terry goes in shit. Right? So for Kyrie to cook them here in this stage, you know, publicly is what it is. But you know, among the circle of players, it's like, yeah, y'all not, y'all not ready, not yet. Jason and Jason and Jalen, y'all not ready, not yet. Y'all not yet ready. You know, you still got me to do. That's why he told that sorry <laughs> when I saw her asking the question about, you know, um, oh, I forget what I saw her asked. Well, I'm in sitting right there. That's why I saw said, you know shit. That's why Kyrie told us saw keep working hard, but guess what? I'm gonna be working too, cause I gotta get ready for you next year. Shit, what? If Kyrie is saying that to I saw and I mean, you know, I saw and I mean, you know, it's like shit, what the fuck? You think he just gonna waltz into Boston and and you know, I expect a big game from Kyrie tonight. I expect him to bounce back. Because I'm sure he's not happy with his performance the first game. I expect him to bounce back tonight. We'll see. Boston got some. You know, I have to apologize to Boston. <laughs> Let me just do that right now. Let me do this right now. <laughs> Son of Jones, if you come through here, I apologize, baby. I apologize, Son of Jones. So I know you up there in Boston. I know you. We want you to win the championship. I remember I did a live stream early last year because I was critical of Boston because I thought they lost their edge. I thought that when they allowed Marcus Smart and Grant Williams to leave, I thought that cut that edge out of Boston. I said, oh, they don't have the edge no more. Where are the dogs? I remember showing all the players. I said, where are the dogs at? I don't see them. I don't see the dogs. But now, you know, what I recognize is that, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Jalen Brown is the only dog I identify as man, but it's more than Jalen Brown. Jason Tatum is a pretty boy. Jason can throw you off, right? It is what it is. We're gonna move Jason to the side. Pritchard and White, I like them. I like them. Drew Holiday is another one. Soft spoken, but still. And Jalen Brown. You got four dogs. And Al Horford as well. Al Horford is underestimated. Al is a dog. Al Horford is a dog. He is a dog. So they still have dogs on the team more than what I kind of initially thought. But now taking a second look at it, they have dogs on that team. They still got dogs. They didn't let all the dogs go. They kept some in the yard. God damn. They got dogs. Pritchard and White are two dogs. I like them. I like their grit. You know, I like that grit. I like, I, the players like Pritchard and White, I fuck with those kinds. You know, the Lucas and the Caitlin Clarks, I don't fuck with those. I don't fuck with them. I don't fuck with them at all. I know I don't. I like the Carusos. I fuck with them. I like the Carusos. I like the Whites. I like the Pritchards. I like those types. You know, because they play, you know, the J.J. Reddick types. They play. They're not, there's no narrative around them. They're here with us, playing with us. And that's it. That's all. Nothing more. You know what I'm saying? To a degree, Joker as well. Because he wasn't really celebrated. Luca, that's another level with him, man. He's, he's walking in, everybody's expecting him to be the new Alabaster Gold and all that shit. And, and what comes with that is, is, is summon, summon that tribe. 
Some of that damn, that pale tribe, man, they work my nerves. Cause as soon as, so, as soon as a white boy can shoot the ball just a little bit, they go crazy. Same with Caitlin Clark. I'm gonna talk about her a little bit too. And the Karens on, on and that and those savages on her, what on her fan base. I can't even, I can't even get to. I can't even get to enjoy if I wanted to, right? I can't even get to enjoy Caitlin Clark's journey to say, okay, she is pretty good. All right, damn, she might be the next. She might be the next wave to take the WNBA further from the foundation laid by. And here we go again. From the foundation laid by Candace Park. The foundation laid by Teresa Witherspoon. The foundation laid by Sue Bird. The foundation laid by Dana Taurasi. What the fuck? Dana, why is she still in the Olympics? God never because she made it wet. Kevin Clark to play in that bitch. That's why. And I don't like Dana Taurasi. Never have. I've never liked Dana Taurasi. I've never liked Dana Taurasi or Sue Bird. And those two I don't like. Candace Parker, Sylvia Fowles, Simone Augustus, Mia Moore, Tamika Ketchings. Cheryl Swoops. What? Lisa Leslie. Yes. I fuck with them. When I watched the WNBA off and on, I've been on the edges of it. I didn't like it. The, the WNBA got so goddamn good, I had to cut it off, man. I don't like all that other stuff. I don't like well, I don't like for the left wing woke shit to enter into into sports like that because it taints it to me. You know, it becomes agenda driven, and now it's the same agenda on the other side. You got the woke on one side, you got these red hats on the other, all in WNBA. It ruins, it ruins the journey, you know? And when that motherfucker came out and sent out a death threat towards Angel Reese because she didn't bow, because she took the damn championship from Peyton Clark two years ago, and she's been the villain ever since. Not because she wanted to be, but because she was made the villain because she took it away from the guy she took away the goddamn Cinderella story of Caitlin Clark. To the point where the damn first lady was saying, even though that Caitlin lost, she still wanted to come to the White House? Get the fuck out of here. No, no, I have not forgotten. The fuck? So on that alone, when a, when someone, I talk about this, another piece of content I'm going to upload this week. When somebody like Caitlin Clark becomes such a symbol where now death threats are being sent to women of this tribe. No, I have an issue with that. And I'm going to jump outside. I was inside when it comes to WMA, but the moment death injuries got threatened, no, it's time for me to jump outside now. So it can be known that if anybody decides, if the, so it can be known that we're watching. And I'm going to put the energy out there that you would be best to shut down your thoughts about touching Angel, Shinnity, or anybody else that you think should, should uh, anybody else who isn't bowing down to what you want as a participation trophy for Caitlin Clark. With her not having to take the shit from them women, stop. Caitlin, if she's going to be the new GOAT, then she got to go in and take it. Take it from the queen bee that's dead. That's how this shit works. You just don't give her the goddamn throne. She got to go and take and knock off whoever's up there. And keep it. The same with Luca. If Luca wins, then he'll be on the throne. And I hate to say it. Because I know what that means. Those Caitlyn, the Luca and the Caitlyn Clark tribe will come together. That, that, that poisonous part of that tribe. The part that I love. Yes. You know, the ones that post memes on nigga, I, I, nigga, I run these niggas. Them types that post those memes when Luca is doing good. Oh, those types I'm outside for. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So, <laughs> Boston got dogs. I like the dogs. I think that would be the difference. They don't have enough dogs in Dallas, man. You know, see, I wear the dogs in Dallas. You know, Luca puts up a fight. Kyrie is loving life now. He, he, you know, Kyrie is a killer, but he's loving, you know, he's different. PJ ain't a dog. I'm sorry, but he's not. 
I got you PJ, I know what you're doing, you still with your arms crossed and all that shit, yes! You got the trappings of a dog, but you're not a dog, PJ. On the other side of Al Horford, no, DJ, you ain't got that type of energy, baby, you don't, you don't. Gafford, baby, maybe Gafford, lively, I like Lively training with Tyson Chandler, I saw a video of him training with Tyson Chandler, shot Tyson Chandler, Chandler's toughening him up, getting him ready, I like that, I like that. Lively could be a dog, I like Lively's energy, he could be a dog, I like his energy. And I like the fact that Tyson Chandler, a dog, is training a pup to be a dog. I like that. I like that. I like that. PJ, Gafford, maybe. You know, Derek. Oh, I forget my damn from the, from the Bulls. I like him. He's so damn good. See, this is an interesting thing for Dallas. Derek. Oh, Derek Jones. Derek Jones has elevated to a point where Tim Jr. is coming off the bench for Dallas. I never thought I would see that. I never thought that I would see Tim Jr. coming off the bench. Dallas got some decisions to make about Tim Jr., baby. They got some decisions to make. Ain't gonna be on here long. Yeah, he's 19, okay. They got, because I want to have this posted just as the game come on. Not, you know, and you all can come and watch it after the game is over. It ain't gonna be a long one. You can watch it for, you watch the game for two and a half hours. This will be a quick 30 minute uh, thing. And then, you know, we can talk about it. Uh, we may we may go on it uh, when I go live on Wednesday for midweek live. We can go live and talk about it live too. You know, if y'all want to talk about it, just let me know. I want, I, we, we want to circle back to it. If I want to circle back to what I'm talking about here, we can, we can circle back to it on Wednesday. What? That is interesting. I found that interesting because I know they said Tim Hardaway Jr. is coming off the bench. There was a time I thought he was the next best player behind Luka Doncic. Or at least the third, you know, when Chris Stapps was there. Speaking of Chris Stapps, you think Chris Stapps don't want to beat Luka? Chris Stapps for Zingas has been battling Luka since the EuroLeague days. This ain't no, this ain't no first time for like, for like a championship type thing. This ain't the first time that Porzingis has went up against Luka Doncic. Shit. And unlike some of the mental handicaps, unfortunately, of some of the tribe. See, that's another thing. That's another thing. Jalen Brown in particular. <laughs> and Chris Stasperzinius do not have the mental handicaps that some of the other tribes have because it's baked in the cake of the United States culture. See, the issue with John Morant, the issue with Anthony Edwards, and I'm going to see if Zion got the same issue. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because of the belief of the falsehood of pale skin being of a certain vibe, right? And unfortunately, some in this tribe have bought into that foolishness. We will go very hard at each other, but with there someone else on the other side of us, we turn it down. We turn it down. I've noticed Anthony Edwards and John Moran in particular, they turn it down when, when, when they play against Luka. They don't go at him. They don't go at him hard. Not the way they do each other. You know what I'm saying? They don't go, that's, oh, that's a mental handicap. I know what that is. That's a handicap. They don't want to hurt They don't want to hurt the pale man too. They don't want to hurt him. You know, they see him as, they, they, they see him as something. They see him as someone. He's cold. Oh, he's that cold Slovenian. Yeah, you know. But they don't see him as somebody they need to knock down. They don't see him as someone they need to slay. They see him as somebody that, hell, you know, maybe one day I'd like to play with him. They see him like that. Luka Doncic doesn't see you niggas like that. Luka is here to slay all of you. <laughs> he is. And now he has a Jedi Master teaching him. Kyrie, Lord, have mercy. That's the reason why I didn't want Kyrie going to Dallas, because I knew that was going to happen. Luka Doncic has God, Sham God, Jason Kidd, and Kyrie Irving as his damn master. What? What? <laughs> they have had him. I wish LaMelo Ball had that around him, man. Can you imagine a LaMelo Ball with a Jason Kidd type coach? But they don't get it with Lee now. They don't get it with Lee. The way they built Boston, they got it with Lee now. They have it with Lee. They have it. 
Imagine an assistant coach like a God Sham God with LaMelo Ball or like a Jamal Crawford as a coach for LaMelo Ball. What? And a teammate like a Kyrie with LaMelo Ball. Like a Rajon Rondo, the way he was with Lonzo. Like a Rondo with LaMelo Ball. Or like a Chris Paul type. That's with LaMelo Ball. You know what I'm saying? Some of, some of the greatest basketball minds in the NBA are there in your same practice with you. The way they have for Luka Doncic. You know? God didn't win a lot of championships, man. I'm talking about Sham God now. You know, Sham God, Sham God, 5%, baby, same house. <laughs> I'm in that house myself. Hey, <laughs> I know what it is. Some of you out that house, you know, to see a, a melanin man named God, you know, it, that, 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 that spooks and shakes some of you. Whereas that you don't want to call him by his first name. You just call him by his second name. Sham God, Sham God, Sham God. No, that's his last name. His first name is God. And I will call him God. Because that's his name, God. He got God there with him as a coach. Huh? Yeah. Because it don't spook me out to say it. Because when I look in the mirror, guess what I see? God. <laughs> I walk differently, baby. Anyway, 5%, baby. 5%. Nation of Islam. Hey, it's what it is. That's what's taught over in that house. The house that I came out of. I love it. Anyway. If Luka wins, he'll be crowned because they're ready to crown him. He'll get the MVP. He'll be the face of the league. He's crowned. He's the Western Conference champion right now, so he's crowned there already. He's the best in the West. He's crowned there. He, he worked it. He got it. It is what it is. You know? We'll see if the West is so stacked. We'll see if he can keep that crown or will he be challenged next year. Because all the teams of the West will come at Dallas now. Because Dallas is the top team. All the teams of the West are going to measure themselves against the Mavericks next year. So all the so the playtime is over with for Luka Doncic now. Because he's now at the top. He is now the hunted. He's no longer hunting. Luka Doncic is now the hunted. We'll see how he does. He's going to be hunted by the West. He's going to be hunted by everybody in the West. Shaq. Joker, all of them. Ant, Zion, all of them. Jock, you know, Kawhi, if he's healthy, definitely Harden. Harden has minutes. You know, don't know where Paul George is going to be. Definitely Phoenix. You know, you know, they have a, Luke and Devin have a history, so that's always going to be there. <laughs> and others. Shit, the whole West from top to bottom. Woo! Woo! I don't know, next year, boy, anyway. So we'll see. Over the East, I have a question for everybody. Jump in the comments, jump in the comment section. Tonight, when you hear this, or we can wait till Wednesday and talk about it. Does Jason Tatum's legacy take a hit if they lose? Are there questions, or is it that Jason's still not ready? Boston has been knocking on the door for too many times. They've been close too many times. If they fail again with this team, you gonna have to ask Jason Tatum a question. Jason Tatum wasn't, you know, they had a nice overall game, which is good. Jason Kidd did something very smart. He said that Jalen Brown was the best player. <laughs> Jalen Brown gets the MVP. Ooh. But see, it was like, see, it was just like it was when Bird first word won his championship. You all know that it was um, what's my man's name? Bird didn't get the damn MVP. Max, oh man, I forget my name was Maxwell. Shit, I can't think of his name. Throw it in the comment section. Throw it in the comment section. Oh, because he's still, he's still, he's still in the family involved. He just got finished talking Grant Wood. Damn it, I, I don't have, I'm not by my computer right now. But he won the MVP. It wasn't Bird. What the? Fuck? It wasn't Bird, right? He won the MVP. You see what I'm saying? So, um, it wasn't Bird who won the alcohol. It wasn't Bird who won the MVP, right? So, it was hard to get my man's name. But anyway, 
Brown may get the same with Jason Taylor. Brown may get the MVP, but that, but you know the best player still Tatum Dog, Jason Kidd said it's Brown. That brings up the old thing because you know Jason Tatum and Tennessee, this is another thing, Boston. Tatum and Brown. Tatum and Brown. Both are going to make three hundred million dollars a piece. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I think that's how it's going to go. What? <laughs> so the question that they're asking that I'm hearing is between the both of them is six hundred million dollars. Is that enough? Can they keep it together? If they fail to win a championship, let me tell you something. If they fail to win the championship, that's gonna come up. It's gonna be humbly gonna ask if they fail to win the champion. What the hell? Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> I'm in the country, baby. You see all type of, you see all types of animals and stuff running through here. <laughs> I'm a straight dog in my yard. See, I'm gonna go anyway. But yeah, so <laughs> it's gonna come up. If they don't win, if they don't win, the contract is going to come up because the question is going to be asked. If they're spending all this money, if they're spending all this money on those two, <laughs> should they be kept together? Because there was always there was talk about really the trading was the talk was the trade Jalen Brown. That was the talk. I think both of them are good together. I think they both games, their games fit very well together. I don't see them, um, I don't see them, um, I think it'd be foolish to break them up, personally. I just, I think they gotta ride with them. Even if they don't win, they gotta ride with them and continue to build around those two. Because as long as you got Jason and Jalen together, Boston can still be one of the top teams of the East. If they break that up, Boston's gonna fall. Boston will fall because the other teams are coming up. Are y'all noticing Orlando? Are you noticing even Charlotte with Brandon? If Lamelo come back fully healthy next year, watch out. Charlotte gonna make some noise. Now we'll see how far they go. But a healthy Brandon and a healthy and up a, a damn a year of experience with Brandon Miller and a damn refreshed Lamelo ball after what? Plus whatever they man stop. You know this was going on with these other teams. Halle be back. New York, they make certain moves around Bronson and Julius can come back healthy. New York is dangerous. New York is dangerous now. The Knicks. You know what I'm saying? Brooklyn is Brooklyn, they got to figure it out in Brooklyn. Ben Simmons was a mistake. They have to figure it out in Brooklyn. They ain't gonna win with Ben Simmons. They got to move on from Ben Simmons. Now I don't know where he's gonna go. Ben Simmons wants to run the point when he's really a, a Ben Simmons wants to run the point when he's really like a three. When he's really like a three. But the only thing is Ben can't shoot. Ben can't have the ball in his hands the way he have it in his hands and not able to shoot. You know, or build the team around him so he can create for other people. But Ben got to be a threat right now. Ben is more defense, more of a, more of a defensive player. Ben got to do more than what he's doing. You know, we'll see. We'll see. Mikhail, let's talk about trading Mikhail Bridges. Brooklyn is looking to start over again to build the way some of the other youth are building. That's what the owners coming out and talking about. They want to go. They want to play the long game now in Brooklyn. You know because they tried the quick way and it and it and it, and it fell and it, and it blew up in their faces. So they want to you know try the long route now. The way the way you build sustained success. Watch the trade too. They just paid Kade the money. They just gave Kade the money. He's the guy on that team now. He got the money. Who will they keep around Kade? We're gonna see. They got new. They got a new president. Langdon is up there. You know, Monty Williams. We'll see if they keep him as a coach. Weaver's gone. We'll see about Monte. Yeah, we was gone, they got Langdon there now. Yeah. We'll see if they keep Monte Williams or they go, though they get away from him with the quickness. The Bulls, my Bulls, you know, I'm, I'm, I have a fear. <laughs> Cooper Flag may end up playing for Chicago, everybody, because they are bull, AK is bullshitting in Chicago right now. You're not going to win with DeMar DeRozan. We're just not going to win. DeMar is on the other side of 30. The same with Jimmy Butler in Miami. A lot of shit going on there too now. You know? 
Players like Jimmy Butler and DeMar DeRozan need to come together, take a pay cut, and call each other on off season and make a make a you know go to the Lakers and help LeBron. <laughs> or go to the Clippers. You know what I'm saying? And help and, and go with Harden and go with LeBron. You know? They kinda they, they kinda got it set in Phoenix. They're gonna keep KD there, they're gonna see what they can do. You know, they you know they, they got limits, they got they have limits, but the uh, the, the new owner of Sheba, whatever the fuck his name is, that man he he he's owning that shit like he's playing 2K right now. You know, Phoenix is gonna fool around. Phoenix got too many, they're not they should have stayed with what they have, but they got greedy, want to hurry up and win. You can't take shortcuts and win. You have to build. You have to. And then put pieces in. You know? Joe Brooks, so Chicago will end up missing out on all the all the great talent. Because they're busy clinging to Levine and DeRozan and Vooch. It's time for them to go. But there's rumors that Patrick Williams is out. And I hope that that don't happen. Because Patrick Williams is going to go. I don't care what y'all say. Because I know some of the some of my friends say Patrick Williams is a bust. I don't think so. I think Patrick Williams in another situation will flourish. And he'll become what? What? He'll become that two-way, that Kawhi Leonard type player that everyone thought he was coming out of Florida. I believe under another situation, he'll be good. Now, will he be like a number one option? No. But a wing, a three slash four that can shoot the three and play defense are valued in this league. He can shoot that three. And he can play defense. They say he's past that. Five. He doesn't have to be the dog. He doesn't have to be the alpha. He can be a uh, supplementary piece for an alpha. See, a person like Patrick Williams could fit well with a Luka Doncic type player. He could fit well with John Morant. He could fit well with James Harden because he's not asked to do too much. That's you know the reason why PJ Washington is flourishing in Dallas right now is because he's not asked to try to do more. His role isn't a big role. Hit the open shot, play defense, get some rebounds, and play defense on the switch. That's it. And be an outlet for Luka and Kyrie. And I think that Patrick Williams will have a similar role. Maybe more elevated, because I think he has more talent. But if his mentality is passive, then let him play defense. Let him hit that open shot. And let him guard the best uh, wing. Right? And that takes, that alleviates other players from having to do that. Like Luka. Like a LaMelo, even. You know, or oh, shit in Orlando. What? Let me see. Not you see Orlando got payroll. They got bothered. No, not Orlando. Not in Orlando. They kind of got their forest out there. But I got Patrick Williams in Miami. They would they would shape them up in Miami if they move Patrick Williams to Miami. What? Him and him and Jovic style. You know. So I just uh, I just I feel the Bulls are making a mistake. Keep Kobe White, Lonzo Ball. We'll see what's going on. Lonzo is saying all types of shit on his podcast about what he's going to do. You know, and it's like, nah, baby, I, I don't. Lonzo Ball, until you are playing basketball again, where I can see you. Not sitting down on no goddamn podcast next to Demo and Jello. No, until I see you actually playing a game. Right? A real game. Then I'll be able to say, okay. But if I don't see you. You sitting down with your legs crossed on the podcast, that don't move me. It don't. It don't. I need to see you do. I need to see you in action. Not with Demo in a controlled environment. I need to see you in action with real NBA players in the real game. Once I see that, then I say, okay. You know what I'm saying? He been running his mouth too much on that goddamn podcast. He said a few things that now has gotten a response from Casey Johnson in Chicago. We're now talking about even though they want, even though the um, the human part, they he 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 sympathizes with the human part, but the business part, they may they may cut they may cut their bulls. This is Ryan Storff now. He'll do some shit like that. They may cut their losses from Lonzo. They literally may just pay him off and wave him, man. It may go that way. Lonzo may get waived from the Bulls next year. Watch for it now. You heard it here. You know? Anyway, I'm about to close out of here. Um, yeah, yeah, it's been 37. Yeah, 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 I can yeah. So it's enough time. I didn't, want to, I didn't want this to be too long. This has been a um, weekend open try stream Sunday. Open try stream sports Sunday, right? That's what I'm going to call it. You know, so I appreciate everyone who will listen to this on the replay game. You know, you know, either today or, you know, whenever we come through. Hey, let me know what you think. You know, some of y'all may, you know, I know some of y'all are hoping for Lonzo to do better. You know, nah, he won't get waved. Shit, yeah, the Bulls, 
if the Bulls let go of Derrick Rose, Lonzo ain't gonna be a problem. Even though the Bulls and the organization, they love Lonzo. They love him. Shit, there's, you know, all you mugs talking about trading the Mellow Ball, Wesley. You know, it's like shit. Chicago will take the other ball brother right up there and put him right there at the point and will love him to death. Damn the universal. You know, it's only, especially if he's on the court and producing shit. <laughs> you know, uh, but um, we're going to see. Jason Tatum's legacy, I think, will take a hit if Boston loses. I think it'll take a hit. I think there will be questions asked about if Jason can be the guy to lead a team to a championship. If he got the toughness or the leadership to do so. And if those questions begin to come out, considering how much money he's making, then there's going to be a conversation about him and Jalen this summer if they don't, if they, if they don't, um, if they don't make that championship. Right. And with Charles Lee's departure, more of the coaching staff is leaving now, you know, so he's coming down to Charlotte now to pick up, pick that up, and they got, you know, so Charlotte's going to get us something really nice down there, right? So we'll see, you know, we'll see, you know, Luka Doncic is able to squeeze a championship out of Boston, you know what I'm saying, he'll be the face of the league, you know, above Joker. You know, and he'll be he'll be one of the young stars, the young faces in the league now. You know, all, but unfortunately, Luka Doncic, he has not appealed. And they talked about the first game. We'll see what happens tonight. The first game, the the viewership was down from last year, and they said it was dull last year. Luka and Jason cannot draw the marketing share of views and everything, then the NBA still needs a face. Luca will be temporary. Luca will be temporary. You know? Now, if LaMelo, if LaMelo will be on the floor long enough, LaMelo already got the popularity. He already got the vibe. If he can start winning in Charlotte, they'll put him up there. Because LaMelo Ball winning is good business for the NBA. He's flashy, he entertains, he wins, he's non-controversial, you know? I don't give a fuck what they say in the local media. LaMelo Ball, if the controversy is LaMelo Ball scooting around, <laughs> LaMelo Ball is literally, he just bought the condo finally from Cam, from Cam Newton, yeah, what, from Cam, Cam Newton, Lord, I'm like, that's yeah. He bought the damn, he bought the damn condo from Cam Newton, right? Right. So now he is, and he is invested in Charlotte. He ain't going nowhere. So y'all might as well get ready for the ride with LaMelo Ball. He is there. He's riding his little, he's riding around the roof of the damn, um, of the condo. And he wasn't the only one. Everybody took turns up there. It wasn't just LaMelo. Right? So he's chilling in Charlotte. He's not, he doesn't have the energy that he's about to go somewhere else. So anyone who's saying that uh, LaMelo needs to go, LaMelo's time for him to go, LaMelo ain't going nowhere. He's not paying attention. If, if there's any whisperings into his ear or text messages, he ain't paying no damn text messages, no goddamn attention. LaMelo wants to do it in Charlotte, clearly. Because if not, why would he buy Cam Newton's condo? He would just keep the, keep the house in L.A. He would just fly to L.A. In, in the jet and, and, and chill in L.A. He's chilling in Charlotte right now. You know, close to where the team and the players are. You know, we'll see. The Melo has work to do. You know, I'm gonna do a separate stream about that. You know, separate upload probably about that. You know, uh, but you know, they're getting it together in Charlotte. And other teams are getting it together. I'm, I, and, and as I close out of this, I want the Bulls to get it together. I want them to go young. I do not want them to cling to aging stars. I don't want them to do that because by the time they realize it's time to go away from Levine, Gooch, and damn, um, and um. The rose, and it'll be too late. Where it is, they want to get ED or Klingon. I say, get one of them. Get one of them, please. And keep Patrick Williams. You know? Kobe White. You start to rebuild right now. Start to you moving now. You keep White. You keep Patrick Williams. You get ED or Klingon. Replace the moves. Get Vooch up out of there. You know, you keep Andre Drummond. Right? You keep Andre Drummond. You build around Patrick Williams and Kobe White. Those are the main two centerpieces. And Klingon, you know what I'm saying? The two, you know, uh, White, Klingon, pick and roll all day. Patrick Williams on the, on the weak side. You can do it like that. What? You see, Io, 3 and D. You know, no, Caruso, no, no, Caruso, 3 and D. 
White Russo, Klingon, Williams, and um, oh, there was one the Fords. That's a real nice Ford that we still got in Chicago. No flash, you know, just a Montreal Ford. I think we got up there. I forget his name, you know. But that's all you need. And let's start the youth movement right now before we end up in the damn lottery in the next few years, trying to dig out, but trying to dig ourselves out of a hole. By the time we we get fall down into the lottery, all the other young teams are now taking their place as stars of the league, and we'll get shut out. For We'll get shut out for damn near a whole generation fucking around with AK, man. That's how deep this shit could go, especially if the balls don't, especially if the balls pause, if, especially if the ball don't bounce right for us, man. We'll get locked out. While Paylo and Lamelo and and damn Trey Young and the rest of them are running the East, you know Jalen and Tyrese and Cade and the rest of them run the East, man. Jalen Bronson and them all running the East while we at the bottom. Even Washington came up now, you know. So anyway, this has been Chief Barks and Barks out the world. This has been um. Again, this is the BTW Network. This is Tribe Sports Media. This is the uh, Open Tribe Sports Weekly Sunday uh, podcast and live stream. The, yeah, the podcast and stream. Like, comment, share this. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, support the network. Bartron ISTW is the cash app and the PayPal. This is PayPal.me. Bartron uh, This is it. You know, we'll talk again later. I'm going to upload this. Probably right when the game starts. Eight o'clock, the game has started already. So yeah, it's eight o'clock right now. So the game has started. So I'm about to check into the game, see what's going on, you know, and um, make my fake make the phone call back. We go from there. Peace.